What's up, guys? This is a crypto market update. It's Monday, May 15th. It's 6.21 a.m. So we're going to start off with the, the bond yields, and we're on the monthly chart. So we have the sell now signal that's flashing right now, but we don't have confirmation until about 16 days and 11 hours here once this candle closes. But uh, as you can see, we have this trend line coming down, and I can even put it right to that. And you can notice here that we broke this trend line that started back in March of 2020 of support to support to support to support. We broke it here in March. We closed below it in April. And right now we're getting a sell now signal. So in the next 16 days, if we can get that sell now signal, then I would say the direction for their bond yields is um, down. And likely our first stop would be that 200 moving average on the monthly chart. It's quite crazy because ever since 1980s, we've been below the 200 moving average in the bond yields and actually we're above it right now. So pretty crazy there. Uh, so that's the bond yields. Let's go to the dollar and let's take a look. So if we're looking at the monthly chart, the monthly chart has shown that the, the direction for the dollar is down. Uh, if we go to the, yep, the monthly chart right here, direction is down, MACD, dark red. We want to see that RSI get broken on the 50 line right there. I'll uh, go to the three week chart. We, we're flirting with that 50 line. We want to see that have a hard breakdown and we want to see the TSI go through that zero line. Right now, we still got a ways to go. So as you can see, we're right there. Um, yeah, definitely want to see the higher time frames get below that zero line. That will give us a push that we need to get through this key level around 101, uh, 100, 101. So now let's go back to the candles. Let's go to the two week chart. Okay, so right now it does look like we're trying to cross up and we're holding support on that, that EMA ribbon right here. Let's go down to the one week chart. One week chart, we have not flipped green in the, the MACD yet. We have the TSI looking like it's about to cross, but we have to wait for the weekly candle close, And but we're below the zero line, which is good news. So also we have the void lines right here, that middle line served as a rejection point back here in February. And we came down and right now we're, we're basically at it. Or, or very close to it. It's about 102.90. Uh, that's where the, the middle line and the, the void lines are. Could even kind of come up a little more. But yeah, I definitely want to see us not have a, a substantial pump in the dollar this week. Um, we got past that time zone May 8th to May 13th. We actually had our dump on May 8th. And it, I, I'm seeing some things in the charts that could say that, hey, we actually bottomed on May 13th. So back in April, we're laying that time caution time zone out. And if this if this pans out to be the case, I mean, we hit the the May 8th dump to a T, called that back late April. But if we hit the bottom to a T by saying May 13th back in April as well too, that that's just going to be legendary. So let's take a look. 12 day chart. Um, right now, momentum headed down. Blue's on top as well, too. Let's go to the one week. No, I'm sorry. Let's go to the three day. So yeah, see how that three days, um, the support right there on the 50 moving average, we're, we're seeing that. Um, no, I'm sorry. The 200 moving average, that blue line, I'm uh, seeing some support come in. We are trying to cross up in the stock RSI, but as long as we can get kind of rejected by this 50 line, cross back down, or even right here, that'd be solid. We don't want to see the orange get above the 50 because as you can see right back here when we did that that's when we had our pump up so we don't want to see that happen now let's go to the one day chart and we've already pumped up we see the pink above the blue definitely a cause for concern definitely i want to get rejected where we're at so we can just roll over from here and not keep pressing up because then we're going to have a, a, a substantial pump to the upside since the void lines would open up the mouths would open up wide um, we'd see it open up like this it would pump up and that's not good for crypto we want to see the dollar dump down so let's go to the four hour chart let's get a closer look at it we do have a four hour prepare to sell soon um, let's see if we had any other kind of prepare to sell soon sell nows yeah usually they hit local tops um, so with us already have a prepare to sell soon and the stock rsi cross down that's check number one we're looking for the tsi to cross down that'll be check number two and we're getting close to it i mean it's starting to curl but if you look at the past times that we've seen the tsi uh, start to kind of top out i mean this is definitely a level on the four hour chart where we've seen that so definitely looking good as far as that goes for the dollar to um have topped or very close to topping 
And then if we go to a very micro time frame, one hour chart, we already crossed down. Um, we already got the one hour sell now signal in here and we have the void line squeezing close. And we came up to retest that middle line, the uh, void lines, and we got rejected by it. And it does seem like this candle is starting to break lower. And we have the blue getting ready to cross above the pink. If we look to when the pink crossed above the blue, that was the start of our uptrend. So this is solid news as far as the dollar looking like it's gonna to start to roll over and now be positive and serve more to the thesis that I think we have already bottomed. And on the 30 minute chart, we do see the blue is already above the pink. We wanna see this maintain for the next few hours here since it's so early at 6.30 in the morning by 9.30 a.m. It could, it could definitely change up. So let's go to Bitcoin dominance. Go to the Bitcoin dominance chart. On the one week, we have a prepare to sell soon. Guys, this is huge. Like the one hour, I mean, sorry, the one week prepare to sell soon. If we look at the past times that this has happened, um, we have September 2019 and the sell now came in. This was the start of with all coins starting to outperform. We had like chain link around that time going ham. We had Ethereum starting to go ham. Uh, but then we had the sell warning and sell now, uh, December of 2020. And that was really the big altcoin rally from late 2020 to May of 2021. Then back here as well too, September 2018 to, and this was kind of like in the middle of a bear market, so hard to gauge that. Then back here, this was November 2015, we had a sell warning sell now, and then January 2016, we really started to see the altcoins at that time, which there weren't many, start to rally as well. But seeing that we have a sell warning right now, we have the 200 moving average coming down, serving as a rejection point each time as well too, and it's just a hair higher, around 50%. And um, then we have six days left for this candle to close. If we can see the TSI curl down here, because we already have the stock RSI curl down, we're gonna get that sell now signal. And if Bitcoin can stay stable at these prices and we get the Bitcoin dominant sell now, it's on. Like altcoin season is here, if that's the case. So we're gonna be tracking that definitely, because that that is, a huge signal right there that we got to keep on our radar. Go to the NASDAQ 100 on the one week chart. Right now we are seeing a cross of the EMA ribbon from red to green. We are above the EMA ribbon and the EMA ribbon is above the 200 moving average. So we're, we're starting to change the trend here. We definitely have some key levels we need to take out before it's anything substantial, but right now it's pretty solid. So if we can get I would, I really would like to see us get above like 14, actually let me put this 786 on. So high to low, we really need to take out 15,166 and hold that support for really this kind of, this for this not to be a retracement and then us to break back down harder. So like say, like if it gets rejected there, we want to see it break above, hold that support, start to consolidate and then keep on going. So we need to watch that like a hawk, but right now we broke above that key level, which was around 13,000, uh, 13,100. So we want to maintain above that for the time being. If we go to gold right now, it's at 2016 and uh, we, we have this trend line coming right here, acting as support, short term stuff. Uh, we have this kind of resistance like this. Um, we actually broke and we got close to breaking a new all time highs. But if I go to the three week chart, we're seeing the momentum up. We're seeing the MACD rising, seeing the TSI by the zero line. That's all good. Let's look at the one month chart. One month chart, we're selling across the TSI. We're above the zero line. We see the pink above the blue. We see the stock RSI rising, MACD green. That's all good as well too. So this is looking healthy as far as gold goes. We want to keep pressing up here. We really need to take out that 2000. I would love to see us take out 2100 and hold that support. If that happens, yeah, gold is going to go haywire haywire let's go to bitcoin so what i'm noticing here with bitcoin also by the way metal is up today it's around a, a hair above nine cents so we're up on that trade still also xpr proton proton we're up on i think around 25 percent um, what was some other ones wojack and pepe we're still up on definitely watch those clo closely i think we, we might be flat on velo Let's see. Suey's back up to $1.22. Arb's back up. So we are seeing the market kind of recover a little bit here. If we go to Bitcoin on the 12 hour chart, this is what I'm noticing. So 
we're seeing the same pattern play out. We're seeing the same uh, Stargate signals play out. And basically, if we look at what happened each time, right? So we're following the time frame to a T. So as far as psych time time analysis, we're following it to a T and the fractal as well too. We're not following it ex extremely uh, the same, but very close. As far as you can notice here that when we had our 12, this is a 12 hour chart on the Coinbase, by the way. We had our buy warning by now. We went up, sell warnings. We had our first sell now, sell warnings, sell now again, right? We kind of curled over, did a prepare to buy soon and a buy now. And then we went up a little bit higher than back here. And then we actually curled over and went lower than this point here and had our 12 hour prepare to buy soon again, buy now and ultimately bottomed at that point. So if we're taking this pattern and we're comparing it to this right here, I mean, the same thing happened. We had the 12 hour prepare to buy soon and the buy now, just like back here, we had our sell warnings coming up. We had our first sell now. What's kind of different is this kind of what happened here is a little bit different, but ultimately a little bit the same. We had a buy warning and buy now back here, here, whereas we got it actually here this time. So we didn't dip as far down as we maybe should have back here. But if we did, then uh, it would we probably would have got those prepared by soon signals. But as you notice, so and then we actually went a little bit higher here than we did back here. Uh, so that's why as well too. But um, yeah, so you can see that we had our our rise, our rise. We kind of squeezed in, squeezed in. We had a little uh, pop up here. This was our little pop up here. And then actually right here, we had a prepare to buy soon. Back here, we, we had it instead of right here from back here. But ultimately, if now I take this fractal pattern and I copy it over, it matches up. So it matches up as far as we kind of curled over, we dip, we pop up, come back down, go sideways, and we dip hard. So what I think was why I think we bottom or either we bottomed already right here or we have one more push down and then that's the bottom. But I think we may have already done it because if you look, when the EMA ribbon flip green to red right here, just like right here, we touched the 200 moving average here, just like right here. We had the 12 hour prepare to buy soon and it was a lot of green, a lot of green 12 hour prepare to buy soon. Yeah, and we touch it here, touch it here. And we're very close to flashing the buy now signal. Also too, notice how when we kind of had our first little dip here, the EMA ribbon squeezed close, but they stayed green. Just like here, our first dip, EMA ribbon squeezed close, but they're still green. That was when we had our prepare to buy soons, prepare to buy soons. So, and then this kind of rollover, this rollover, this little hump sideways down, sideways down, this little hump uh, sideways down, sideways down. Uh, so yeah, where I would say we're equivalently at here to like here. So what I do think is that we will continue to pump up, but uh, we're going to have to see how the rest of this week plays out. This is going to be the week that tells it all. So we could see something like this, but I would assume that we'd probably need to see a catalyst come in for that. Um, this could get us up to that 34,500, 35K level. Uh, yeah. So the 12 hour chart is telling a huge story right now. We want to see this flash it by now. And if we do pull back down, we need to hold that 200 moving average. I do think we pull back down. It'll be one more dip down um, to have like more of a capitulation right here. We didn't see it that much this time around, but it, it could very well have already happened. So even if you notice with the Heiken, Heiken Ashi candles, um, yeah, so we didn't come down as much. It could have been just a little bit smaller, right? So. It could have just been a little bit smaller like that, uh, but we have to be vigilant. We got to watch it. Also, as well too, if you look at the the pattern in the the, the indicators down here, you'll notice that. So this was our January rise. This was our March rise. We go down, up, down, up. We come down here and go sideways come down here, we go sideways, and then we have our last dip, 
that's lower than this dip. So then we come down here, we go sideways, we go lower. That's lower than this dip right here. So as far as the, the indicators, they're matching up as well too. And this is hidden bullish divergence. We have a low and a lower low. Meanwhile, with the chart, we have a low. No, I'm sorry. This is no, this is actually not hidden bullish divergence. But uh, yeah, as far as matching up, low, lower, low, low, lower, low, same here, low, lower, low, low, lower, low, matching up, and everything else that I kind of showed you earlier. So I, I think we could be in for some fireworks here. I don't think we're done yet. We nailed the time frames to a T, the caution time frames. We, as far as knowing what will happen during those caution time frames, is very up in the air. We have to kind of wait until we get to that time point. And we had said it was looking more likely to the downside than up. And then it kind of followed it to a T. So we've held good support so far. We have this horizontal level as well, too, um, where we had our support back here. We came down, we tapped 25,800 as well, too. So things are looking all right so far. If we go to, oh, and then also to even look at the, the blue line here. So we, during this kind of um, sideways action, we go sideways here. And then we have this little pop up and then back down at this dip, just like we go sideways here at the sideways action. And then we have this little pop up and back down, just like back here. And then as we come back down, that's our rise. And then we're done. And also to the EMA ribbon is right here as well. So yeah, it's looking like this could be it. If we pull out the, the Fibonacci extension on a breakdown, we took this low to this high here. That was the 1618 was right where we came to, just like this low to this high. We actually came down to the 2618, um, pierced a little below it. So we didn't fall as much this time. And that that's all right. We don't have to go down to the 2618. We could very well just stop right here. 12 hour chart, we're seeing the momentum crossing up. Stock RSI is getting close, getting above that 50 line, which we've watched a lot. As far as that goes, the 12 hour stock RSI above the 50 line is huge. Um, just like back here, that's when we pump, back here, that's when we pump, back here. Yeah, and then also the RSI is heading up to that 50 line. TSI is about to cross as well too. And the MACD is about to flip green. If we can pull up here and get above that zero line, we're gonna fi fire off. And we're seeing 27,400 right now. We're staying steady at that level. Um, so all is looking well so far. If we go to the one day chart, I think we have, the stock RSI crossing up here. And then we have the blue up, blue up back here as well too. Um, so if we see this pull back down, the pin come up, it's game on. Yep, TSI right here. We're seeing it's stopping flat. MACD's curling back in. I would love to see us cross back up with the TSI on the daily as well. All looking good, all looking well right now. We could pull down, come down to the 200 day moving average there. It's not out of the cards, but as far as what I'm seeing, we're seeing similar signs in the back here. But these next couple of days will be very telling. Short term though, I wanna see us maintain above this 200 moving average, this yellow line. That's about where we're at right now, 27,400. Because if we look to the left, key level of support. So support, 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 we broke off from that level, slammed down, came up, rejection at first, got above support right here. Also the 200 moving average started as a rejection point back here. Um, so we wanna get above it, hold that support and start to rally up. And I would say if we can get above, so this high down to this low, if we can get above 27,800, things are gonna look um, very, very promising as far as, yeah, the bottom being in on the 12 hour chart, that would seal the deal. If we can get above there, honestly, getting above 28,000 uh, for 400 would uh, make me feel a lot better because we still are under the EMA ribbon if we hit that 786. So I'd like to see us get above, come back down, hold that support, and then we can rally up. So that's what I'm seeing there. Um, right now, it's looking good. It's looking good, man. If we go to the 12-hour chart on Ethereum, we have the 12 hour pair to buy soon. Same thing with Ethereum back here. Yeah, just less of like a, a correction here. So just like back here in uh, January, we had sell morning, sell now, had our first dip, prepared to buy soon, buy now, came up. Then we came back down, prepared to buy soon, buy now, came up. Sell warning, sell now, had our first prepared to buy soon, buy now, 
we came up, came back down, prepared to buy soon. And if, I would say if we get our buy now, then it's we're on the last leg before going up again. So if we even measure out the fractal and time analysis, this, that, and the other thing, you could do this, move it over. Yeah, we're right on par. We're right on par for being done. And look at this inversion as well too. See how this actually came down where this came up? That happens, that happens. That's why we're saying, hey, we gotta wait till the time frame, the, the key caution time zone to know what the likelihood of, of the move is gonna be. We had both scenarios plotted out and uh, we, didn't, we didn't panic, we didn't fold on it. So that's that, seeing that solid 12 hour printed by soon, all good. Now, if we look at metal, so metal got back up to the nine and a half cents, 12 hour chart. It held that 200 moving average there on the 12 hour. Oh, wow. And a ton of volume rolled through on it today, I think. If we go to the two hour chart, yeah, just in the past two hours, we're seeing a ton of volume just kick in here. I don't know if it was sell volume or, or buying. I'm going to have to pull up the coin, coin market cap. So volume's up about 51% today, about at 2 million. I think that's the most we've seen it. Look at how it's rising now. We could be in for some, look at that. The most volume there's been in this whole rally. We could be at the start of the next big move for metal. I definitely want to see it clear that 786 though. Look at that big rally right there in the, in the volume. So we want to see it get through that 786, which is sitting around, man, this could be a grand slam. Let's go to this high down to the low. We want to see it get above 10 and a half and hold. And we could quickly melt up to 16 cents. If we go to metal on, to, on the gate.io exchange, it actually went up to 19 cents, 19 cents. So, and that was a retest of this wick back here too. So I feel like it's programmed. It needs to go to that level. Uh, so we got to watch that and look at, I mean, look at metal, right? We look to the left. It's done this before and it shot up. It's done this before. We could see a shoot up like we've never seen before. This could be like, kind of reminds me of XRP's chart starting off. Let's see if the time frames match up as well too. No, nah, actually, no, it doesn't. So it's playing out a little bit longer. So I would be expecting a quick rise, man. At least, like even if it was a retrace of the 786. So from this high down to the low, that would bring it to around 50 cents. That's a 5X, 5X. So we'll have to see. Um, let's go to XRP. Let's go to the 12 hour chart. 12 hour buy now came in on XRP. Uh, we are seeing the MACD rising, TSI cro crossed up. If we go to the one day chart, I'll sell the prepare to buy soons there. We sell the prepare to buy soons, yep. If we go to the two day, I think we have the prepare to buy soons there. Oh, this is the Femex shirt. Yep, we have the two day prepared to buy soon. No three day, but we have the two day. We're holding flat at this level. It's been two, four, six, eight, ten 10 days holding flat at this level. We said 41 and a half cents. We have yet to break it. We've yet to break it. Um, one day chart, we're seeing us hold pretty solid. Um, prepared to buy soon are there. We've been flashing prepared to buy soon since back here in April. Um, we go to 12 hour chart. We got the buy now back here and we're seeing this rise. We're seeing the TSI, the MACD. So yeah, very close to getting our answer here. If we go to the 11 hour chart, we already saw the buy now. The pink is coming up. It's getting ready to cross. If we go to the nine hour chart, we could be already getting close to crossing there. So we need to see some fall through out of um, XRP. I would love another stab around the 38 cent level though, 36 cent. Man, that would that'd be great. But I don't know if we'll get it. We'll, we'll have to see. If we look at this, Fibonacci breakdown extension. We actually came right to the 1618 of this low to the high. We broke the 786, immediately came right down to the 1618 around 41.413. Hit it once, twice, and now right now we're we're consolidating. So if we can see that one day stock RSI push up through this 50 line, it's game on. Because notice how every single time we got up to this stock RSI 50 line and we got rejected, we couldn't push up. Then we came back down and came up to the 50 line, couldn't push up, got rejected. So if we can get up above there, that's going to give us the, the juice to get right back to the 48 to 49 cent level. And then we need to hold that support and then we can start the rally. If we go to Pepe, Pepe on the 12 hour chart, we, are, we already got a six hour buy now, but ultimately we came back down. If we do come back down more, I want to see us hold this level right here which is around 0 
definitely would want to see that hold. Uh, if we go to the four hour chart, let's see. Yep, that's a coinciding with the market structure ribbon as well too. If we take this local low right here to this high right here, also that 786 sitting around uh, five zeros, one six five. So we're at, we're pretty close to that key level. And also too, yeah, we want to see a rip out of, oh, is this Bitcoin? I don't know why I'd say in Bitcoin up here, but um, we're seeing the TSI on the four hour crossing right down, right at that zero line. If we can press up like this, man, we can do zoop, and then see a lot of green come in right here. Yeah, we'll have a nice pump out of Pepe. And then let's go to the daily chart. Daily chart as well too. Yeah, key level is where I just outlined because we had that wick there, wick there. Uh, came down to it with the body slammed through, got back up and right now kind of retesting it. So, yep. That's what I'm seeing for Pepe. And then we have the, the middle line and the void lines coming up as support as well too. Definitely want to see that hold. Then let's go to Wojak. So Wojak, we're seeing trend line coming across like this. If we take the 786 on the micro, take the low to the high, we want to see 0 0.00029 hold. That's a 786. If we break that, we could come down to 0 0.000248. Or even two zero 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 two three to hit that wick on the left side right here, that wick there. Um, also coming down from that point would be close to that one six one eight. If we actually take this low to the high right here, that actually is very very close. So we could come down to that level if we break the point zero 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 two nine level of support. So watch that close because you don't want to get caught holding the memes again. So we got in very low over here. We're probably up 20, 30% on it. If you see it break that level, just sell out. If you're up, you're up. Then we got Pepe Chain. Pepe Chain's been depressing, but I still got faith. I got faith in it. So we're very close. We got this trend line coming down like this. We're pressing up against it right now. Um, also too, that's a 12 hour chart. We go down a nine hour, the nine hour flip from red macd to green we just need to see that tsi cross up and a heartbeat to come from that pink line and some volume to flow in on uh pepe chain and there's a they're talking about an exchange listing they're talking about their main net coming out so we will have to see right now we're seeing that volume is up six percent so not too much uh, we need to see some more volume uh, kick in and we need to see the exchange listings happen and we need to see their main net come out. If all those things happen, I would definitely expect a huge pump out of Pepe Chain. Remember, with these meme coins, I personally for myself, I'm buying them. I'll ride them to zero and I'll ride them to the moon. I'm not looking to swap in and out, especially if they're not listed on the exchange. So, yep, that's that. And then let's just cover one more. XPR we're up nicely on. We got in on this dip down here around 0 0.001. I called it out at the same time as Wojak and Pepe and uh, Metal that day. So right now this is panning out pretty well. Um, yeah. So also Jasmine's up, Quant's up. Overall, basically green today. We need to see XCN do something here. But yeah, this is what I'm watching. Obviously, we're looking at the dollar. We're looking at Bitcoin. We're looking at the Bitcoin dominance. This this signal is huge as far as this goes. So we'll have our eyes on it. We'll keep you updated in the Discord. And yeah, so I'll see you in there.